Hello there, this one is Mr. here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading. So this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time specific or sign specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply feel the rest. I was going to say leave the rest. So why did I say feel the rest? I'm not going to lie. Like there is this heavy, heavy energy um, in my dreams. And I don't remember my dream. I just remember the feeling. I remember shock. I remember just heavy. It was giving the Ten of Wands in the reverse as well. So somebody here could be letting go of a lot of burdens. Something that weighs heavy on their heart, I'm hearing. There's something here that weighs heavy on a person's heart. It really does. And it's overwhelming. Something here is very overwhelming. We're going to see what that's about. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. So something could be happening fast. It could be taking someone up back. Like just like how this person wasn't expecting this Puma to throw hands. Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands. So it is feelings. You see, I don't know why. I'm getting this energy of like the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. It's like someone could be coming in with an intention to be sincere, but it goes south really quickly. Or somebody here is extending their feelings, expressing how they feel, but it could go south very quickly. And it translates to that heaviness of the Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. It's just something that maybe a person, their intentions was to come off one way. But it just, I just get this energy of a snapping moment. Because how everyone looks at it, Knights are energies that come forward, that bring forward something. This is emotional matters, but this is very swordsy, which is like cutting communication at times. And it, it translates to heaviness. So maybe something that someone is saying is very heavy, overwhelming, heartbreaking. And the way they come off, it's like maybe this is how they intended to come in, but they come off very, very odd here. Whatever this is, it's happening quickly too. With the moon, a lot of depth here. A lot has been shifting behind the scenes with the Wheel of Fortune to the moon. It's like, it's hidden but it's, it's causing a change. The overall energy being the moon, it's a lot beneath the surface. There's a lot of depth to a person, a situation, whatever this is, it runs deep. This also speaks of the subconscious mind sometimes or one's emotions within that one keeps buried. It just feels very deep, very intense and just overwhelming. I don't know what this is. Tell me more about the moon. The Magician to the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I don't like that combination. I don't like the Magician, the Moon, and the Ten of Swords. This is like someone here could be hiding that they're trying to betray another person. They could be hiding the way they're doing it as well. Because the Magician is the willpower to do something. It's even a manifester, but of what? Darkness. The Ten of Swords is to defeat another person. There's a lot happening behind the scenes, but it's to do another person harm, whether energetically, mentally, literally, like I don't like it. It's giving plotting behind the scenes to do something detrimental to another person. This is, this is the intention of what somebody is doing or casting or putting out there and it's really not okay it's really not okay. It's like I'm manifesting, but what? The demise of another, to see someone fail, to see someone fall, to see someone flat on their face. It's not positive at all. Four of Cups. Maybe someone is doing this, like whatever they're doing. I feel like they could have done it over time. But something about the results not giving what it's meant to give, which, <laughs> like, or you're disappointed. The Four of Cups is disappointment. Seven of Pentacles is over time. For some of you, whoever this is, they've invested a lot of money, effort, energy. 
The magician exerts a lot of energy into manifesting things, into making things happen, whether in the practical sense or in their intentions. And it's to do something very bad here. Like, let's just put it like that. And it's like, the Four of Cups is, this is not giving me the result that I wanted. It's not giving me the result that I wanted. With the Seven of Pentacles, this is somebody who could have waited. Seven of Pentacles is something that takes months to years sometimes. It's something that was invested in over time. It's someone who bet a lot on this working out, but they're not happy with how it's working out, which boo-hoo, you know? <laughs> if this is what you wanted, I'm kind of glad <laughs> this didn't work out. Like, it's not okay. This is, I'm hearing unethical. So someone here did something unethical behind the scenes. For some of you, this person was like smiling or being generous with the Knight of Cups, but it's like with the Knight of Swords, I'm seeing an argument. I'm seeing something go left very quickly, but it's like, this is what they wanted anyway. I don't like this combination at all. Knight of Cups or Knight of Pentacles. This is like an offer. This could be someone receiving finances, giving finances to something. What is this about? You know, Page of Pentacles, Off Balance, Five of Swords, somebody here could have paid somebody to do something. They did. With the Five of Swords, it's to aid to the messes. It's to aid to the manipulation. It's to aid to the tricks, trickster behavior, to win at all costs. I see somebody, it fell right on top of the Ten of Swords. Somebody here could have paid another person to do something, tipped them off to do something. Five of Swords is that messy. Two of Wands is that planning. Someone here was really working behind the scenes to get something to go their way. And I'm seeing payments. This is to give and receive. Something about it not going well. It almost smells like it doesn't matter what you did or what you paid off. It's not working. It's like usually when it's in the upright, it's a, it's like a fresh idea, something positive. Sideways, it's like an empty promise, a situation that's unfulfilled, bad seed planted, right? The Five of Swords is definitely a bad seed planted. It's, I'm getting a vibe of whatever they're doing was just very unethical. Maybe out of jealousy, spite. The Five of Swords is very like, I need to win at all costs here. It's very petty. That's also another word that came to me from my dreams, petty behavior. Five of Wands, I can't make it up. And it fell right on top of the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe somebody here was trying to stop another person from doing something, initiating something with the Magician to the Knight of Pentacles. It's like the Five of Wands is struggle, strife, competition, a battle. For some of you, somebody here was battling things they didn't even understand. I'm just getting this energy of a setup. Like we can't have this person do what they want to do. We, we have to stop this person. Something about stopping another person. There could be a Sagittarius involved. There could be a Pisces or an Aries involved. I'm seeing the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody here is driven. They're passionate. They want to do something with a temperance angel. It's like something about being patient. Something about the timing needs to be right because there's this mess here. A couple of messes. Tell me more about the five of wands. Why is the drama here? The wheel of fortune. It's in ways causing a shift. It's in ways causing for a cycle to complete or some change to take place. This could also be related to karma because this is the wheel of karma. Whether good fortune or bad fortune, it's pushing something forward. And it's going to amount to a leap of faith or a new start of a source. Tell me more about the five of wands. We have the Empress and the Death card. For some of you, this shift is causing for an ending. 
This fight could involve an empress energy when you think of the empress as a feminine, right? Um, this is also very nurturing energy. It's unconditionally loving energy. It's fertile grounds. It's things can grow here. Things can multiply. What you pour into this energy, it can grow, right? With a death card, something is ending first. Something is ending. Scorpio, Libra, Taurus here. It just feels very, like, in an odd way, destined. But there's a lot of drama. For some of you, there's a lot of drama surrounding this person. Why? Three of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. There's even a team effort here. Three of Pentacles is a team effort. Six of Pentacles, giving out resources, but I'm seeing something being like a loss. It's like, whoever this is, I feel like it was multiple people involved. I even mentioned someone getting paid to do something. Paid to end something, paid to ruin another person, paid to cause drama, paid to, and I'm just seeing the team effort in the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the payment, the payout. It's like, sure, I'll be a part of your team. Do you not see this? This is the one orchestrating the whole thing. If this person with the red hat is the one paying people in the blue hats to do things. It's like, this is the plan, get with the program, I will pay you. Literally, the way it's illustrating is exactly what I said. Someone's like, I will pay you to do this, and I don't know what it is. Okay, it's to ruin a person, whether it's their reputation, their livelihood, their means, their well-being. There's someone here who just is gung-ho about ruining another person. They want to see them flat on their face. When I tell you there's something about a loss... It's like you, I'm just getting this energy of someone here did a lot just to see a person in the Ten of Swords. But I'm seeing them losing it out. They're losing. The Five of Pentacles is a loss. It's like loss of investment. I did all of this. I did all of this. The devil. I just knew something behind it was like the driving force. The goat man is losing. It's like, I don't know who, what they did. It's just giving me, you know, it's a plethora of things that just seems repetitive. It's like, if I can't do it myself, I will recruit people. But I'm seeing a loss of finances. This was a paid job. It Someone was paid to do something. Maybe multiple people were paid to do things. And I'm just seeing it fail miserably because they're losing and, and it's like this person is angry they're upset they're whatever this is was all about control power envy greed wrath malice it's just from a very dark place and this person's like how could i have lost what i was paying these people to do something here didn't work it didn't go the way someone intended and something here is about destiny as well like with the wheel of fortune it's something destined with the empress I get a vibe of like something good is to come from this but there was a lot of interference we have the emperor wow that is a match to the empress we have the nine of pentacles standing strong here a very secure person there is a match here so for some of you this has a lot to do with two people who represent a match emperor and empress are those two who well you already know what time it is something here is destined it has a lot to do with two people who, in ways, make a great team. But I'm seeing team efforts here. To have these both on the board, in their element. And I'm seeing all this mess here, payments here, team efforts here. With the Nine of Pentacles, yes, someone here is jealous of a person being in the Nine of Pentacles. For a lot of you, it's this Emperor. For some of you, it's the Empress. But the Nine of Pentacles is, I'm good. You see the snake in the grass? This person has all nine pentacles. So it's like they might just need one pentacle to make it to the ten. 
they just need one like there's something they need to like get right to where they're destined to be and i get this vibe of this person being very self-sufficient self-reliant um there's an energy of independence here whether financially you know in the security of the self someone here is in ways taking control of their life with the emperor energy and i'm getting this strong vibe of a lot of like i'm getting cunning energy the five of swords is always well how can i outsmart this person how can i i'm just seeing a person you know when they stick their foot out to see someone trip that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing somebody stick their foot out and they're hoping this person trips over the foot and falls flat on their face like for some of you this has a lot to do with one's reputation for others of you this has something to do with like their status their finances um just them like i'm hearing the word ridicule somebody here just wants to embarrass another person desperately so i'm hearing temperance there's something about patience four of pentacles held back energy preserve your time your resources your energy preserve yourself some of patience here as well with the temperance angel it's like just that's divine timing that's emotional balancing wow they're like hold your horses hold back because the tower is coming i don't this is divine intervention for some of you someone was doing this out of greed with the four of pentacles someone here was holding on for dear life this is control this person has all pause on these pentacles here but the tower is intervention i just see a lot of like we can't have this happen we can't have that happen we have to stop this at all costs we have i'm hearing see this person burn it's like this is so much hatred here and for what and for what i'm hearing it's i'm just almost getting this like angelic assistance i do Tell me more about the temperance angel. Tell me more about the temperance angel. Queen of Swords. There could be a person here who is very wise, addressing something amongst a group of people with the Three of Cups. There could be a very wise person here that is addressing something amongst a group of people. I just see people gathering or people coming together and there's a wise person. The Queen of Swords always knows what to say, is very intelligent, has a keen sense of discernment. It is someone who is alert as well, okay? So I don't know if this is a physical person with a star. Wow, this person could be seen. There's something about it with the star card. There's a lot of like, for some of you, this person works in a medical field. When I get the star, that's a healing energy. The Queen of Swords is a professional. For others of you, this person works in an environment where their brain or their common sense or educational, I don't know. Um, like this person's certified in whatever this is they're doing. With a star card, this is someone who knows what they're doing. Um, temperance angel as well. It's like whoever this is, not only are they smart, but there's something about them that they're destined to be where they are at that particular point in time, I'm hearing. So whoever this is, it's like there's something about setting the record straight as well. I get a vibe of whoever this is. It's just it's just very logical. There's no if ands or buts about it with the Queen of Swords. With a star card, I feel like something about this person will either be seen. They know there's something about them also having very healing qualities or the way they are. I don't know, with the hangman at the bottom. The hangman is also a very uh, big card on shifting perspectives, looking at things differently. This person might aid to that. Someone here could be clearing up the BS. Someone here is setting the record straight. What the heck is this? four of wands wow this is a coming together this is a harmonious outcome this is almost like a reassuring message so whatever this mess is this cultivated orchestrated mess around these people someone here is setting the record straight someone here could be speaking up about something and it's like with the four of wands all is okay at the end of the day all will be well at the end of the day the Four of Wands is harmony amongst two people or more. It's like 
if something has something to do with a blissful outcome, a reunion, a home, a relationship. I don't know what this is, but it's giving me all will be well. It's very reassuring given what this mess was. Very reassuring for this is, yes, this is like the sun. It's like there will be a brighter day, but when I mean someone was out for another person, it feels very toxic. For some of you, there's something going public as well. I'm getting that energy with a star and a queen of swords. Somebody could be saying something, defending another person publicly. There's a lot of evil eye on this situation. When I say jealousy, it says protect your energy from my negativity. There's a lot of negativity someone has been undergoing here. And I get this vibe of people confusing people, deluding people, keeping them confused. And it's all due to this evil eye. Someone here has a strong evil eye for either an empress or an emperor or both. But something is happening in divine timing as per design. The wheel of fortune is always destiny. In the upright, it's the good kind. It's like this is faded. Something here is faded with the star card. That's a wish being fulfilled with a temperance. A lot of healing needed to take place. A lot of patience. A lot of emotional balancing. Somebody here, this could have something to do with parents. I refuse to be a single parent and use this to my advantage. I have no idea what that's about. Someone here... There's someone here, this could have something to do with a parent and, and child relationship. With blocked. What's that about? I'm paranoid that they are leaving. We are not on speaking terms. And I found the evidence I was looking for. So someone here could have found something on another person. There's a there's an energy of paranoia. Someone here is no longer speaking to another person. And it has this person feeling incredibly paranoid. For those of you where this is pertaining to like family matters, this could be a bunch of people. This could be family members causing havoc, paying people to do something in a ways to prevent a person from moving forward. There's no communication. There's a strong energy of paranoia kicking up, an overwhelm. Tell me more about this five of wands with the sun. Queen of Pentacles, this could be someone's mother figure. Tell me more about this. The, yes, the sun. Sometimes when you think of the sun, that has something to do with children, okay? Something's also being exposed. The sun is about exposure. There's someone here who is in denial of something. The Two of Swords is not wanting to see the truth. Tell me more about the Five of Wands. Seven of Wands is protection. Someone here is protected, the King of Wands. For some of you, there is a person here who is protecting another individual physically with the Judgment card and the Seven of Swords. I'm telling you, there's always... Seven of Swords is deceit, theft, plotting behind one's back, sneaky behavior. Judgment is... Something is being judged in this behavior. And there's a person who is on high alert protecting another individual here. Because something was exposed about these orchestrated events dramas behind the scenes the sun is shining and that's like it's like someone was initiated to get defensive some of this has to do with the king of pentacles but i'm seeing a person who is defending themselves or coming at another person's defense the king of wands is always action oriented it's very strong okay and i see somebody defending this person it's like whether in speech, whether physical, there is a defense mechanism as soon as this trouble was exposed. 
This can have a lot to do with family members, death and ending the world, closing out this cycle. There's a cycle closing out because as soon as something came to light, when I tell you a lot was hidden, a lot was happening behind a person's back. As soon as a light got shed on it, this person went into full on defense mode. It's like protection, 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 alert, alert, alert. And there's an ending here to the shenanigans because why do I feel like these people were close? These people were very close. Very close. I'm hearing too close for comfort here. What is this about? Distant horizons. Someone here, there's communication coming in. Whatever this is, someone's ship is going to soar. Because I'm hearing it was destined to. It's almost like this is a divinely guided ship. It's like, what is this? And you know what? I'm hearing believe in the damn impossible. Because it's like, as soon as this anchor is released, what do you know? A ship is flying. Have you ever seen a ship fly? No. It's something that people never thought would get off the ground, I'm hearing. So there's someone here, let's say... You were meant to start a business, but people were ruining your name, right? <laughs> it's like they were setting booby traps, like something here. People were, would never, never thought they'd see the day to see something get off the ground. And I don't know what that is. That could be a business. That could be a person rising from the ashes, right? It's like, it's giving me Jesus who resurrected after three days. They'll be like, damn, how, right? How? I'm hearing how. These people are so pissed. These people feel defeated because it's like, how in, yeah. It's sickening too because it's like, they're like, damn, that ship flying? If God intended it to, it damn sure will. These people are baffled. I'm just seeing utter shock, like jaw drop. Like we did so much here to destroy this person. What I'm telling you, God willing, this person will rise. God willing, this ship will fly. It's so disgusting how I'm seeing all these people getting paid. Like, sure, I'll do it, but pay me this. Sure, I'll do that, but pay me that. It's like poor, poor investments, money down the drain. I'm hearing all that money down the drain because this ain't happening here. God willing, I'm hearing destiny is unfolding right before their eyes. And they're seeing the ship take off and they're like, wow, how I'm just seeing this like, but it's disgusting. It's and you know what? It's like we shouldn't judge others. But I'm looking a little funny at the extreme lengths that we're going down here behind the scenes, the moon. It's just like you don't really know. But as soon as the sun is shed on it, someone here is protected. It's like all their guards. And I'm, I'm feeling this intent, this energy of internal defenses as well went up. And I'm just seeing this ship fly. And they're like, that damn ship can fly? If God is making that ship fly, it will mother effing fly. And they just don't understand. This has something to do with a person. This could have something to do with like a business just going like flourishing. And despite all the booby traps, despite all the lies, despite all the whatever, something here was tarnished as well. They tried to tarnish this person. And they're just like, well, damn, damn right I'm here. And I, I'm getting this vibe of like, there's gotta be a God there's gotta be it's like these people are so amazed and when i mean extreme lengths extreme lengths energetically physically when i see payments being made it could be either or this is crazy and they're gonna get wind of this this message they're gonna know they're gonna know somebody could be speaking on their behalf they're gonna know i'm hearing they're gonna know that whatever the heck they did just ain't working. <laughs> wow. For some reason, it's got something to do with courtship and there was a thief here. I don't know why, but I'm seeing love intertwined. So for some reason, this is a twin flame or a divine counterpart here. There's that empress energy, main female energy, main character energy. For some reason, this has something to do with attacks on a female or attacks on a male. And I'm just seeing this damn ship soar and I'm seeing things happening. Like this has something to do with, for some of you, a union. With the thief here, when I mean 
a lot was i'm just seeing utter someone was robbed of their opportunities robbed of their finances robbed of their livelihood robbed of their well-being robbed of their happiness robbed i'm just hearing robbed 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 this is Im this is very impactful this is very sad i just seeing i'm just seeing ro i just hear robbed so loudly this person was absolutely robbed and it's like god willing i'm just seeing something unfold these people are like they're shook they're absolutely shook. They're like, how? You should ask yourself, why? Why were you so gung-ho on this person's path? Why were you so gung-ho about seeing this person in the Ten of Freaking Swords? Why were you? Who are you? You're not God. Like, I'm really seeing somebody here. And this is going to come per message. I can't make it up. The Hierophant and Ace of Swords. This is a stunning reading. Listen. The world. Cycle closing out. The Page of Wands. That's a message per person, right? It's a messenger. It's a human. This is my God card. And this is my Ace of Swords. That's God's truth. That's God's clarity. That's God's final decision. That's God's hand on this ish. And you know what? This has been, ha like, when I mean the divine has been working behind the scenes tirelessly to see this through. Because it's like these people were working, paying, collaborating to do this mess. But the divine was just like, I don't need to pay other people. I don't need to know. I just do this myself. I'm working on this truth coming out, this clarity being restored, this decision being made because it was meant to. God willing, I'm hearing. This is something very odd. It's like people were working behind the scenes tirelessly, paying people, doing things, starting dramas. And it's like, oh, you thought, you really thought. I work behind the scenes on my own. This is an energy saying this, it's an energy. This Ace of Swords is grandiose. It's the final truth. And I'm hearing this grape. So tell me about this is going to trickle down the grapevine. This is going to trickle down the same grapevine of messes of people just doing so much stupidity. It's stupidity. And that grapevine will know of God's truth. For a lot of this has to do with slander. This has to do with lies. The damn grapevine will know God's truth. Mark my words. This is powerful. This is a very powerful reading. And I'm just seeing somebody was just so robbed. For some reason, it has something to do with a life-changing event with the word change. Someone here was robbed of something that could change their life. Imagine. You have a deal come forward, right? It's like this contract, this opportunity could literally change your life. And you have people ruining your name, lying, going to the company, doing this, whatever it is, just to rob you of something. It's, it feels like it's something that could literally change a person's life. That was meant for them, I'm hearing. So whatever the heck this is, these people, they're in for a surprise. They're just going to be like, oh, we did everything, Amir. We did everything. Lord, dear. The community was involved. For some reason, it's something to do with a mother figure. With mature women, this is something to do with an empress for a lot of you as well. I'm seeing females here. So for a lot of you, I am not even surprised. Feminines, females for some of you. Okay, this could be like a jealous mom. I don't know. Who knows but there's someone here who's maybe more mature than the other a little older than the other the community is definitely involved it's very sad it's like maybe even a community of people here really i'm here talking about a family heirloom as well I'm seeing bad health and sudden wealth in the reverse with the lovers. It's something to do with a partnership. I don't care if it's romantic or if it's in business. The, it's like these people just wanted someone to see them just lose out everything and be in poor health. That's what they wanted for these two, for this duo, Emperor Empress. It's like this is what they wanted. They wanted them in poor health, nothing to go for them. They want everything to be lost. Like there's something here. And you know what? It's a gift. Like something here is given to them anyway. That's why I'm like, these people are very sad. The, the fact that they even exist is just very sad. 
One came out in the reverse intentionally. What is that? Child in the reverse journey. You know what I'm seeing? It's like <laughs> someone here could either be losing a relationship with their parent. It's like, let's say there's a parent here, okay? It's giving Cruella de Vil energy. Let's say a parent here did not want to see their child shine. They did not want to see their child soar. They did not want to see maybe their child. And I'm telling you, narcissistic parents can be like this, okay? It's not to ish on anyone. You know who you're up against. You know what you're dealing with. Some people don't want to see a person, whether it's family, partners, friends, they did not want to see this person excel, okay? And it's like, with this being in the reverse, something could cost a person something. The child in the reverse is like, if I'm, if someone here is this person, right? If I have this, like, thank God I don't have parents like that. But can you imagine? I'm the child and this is a mother, right? This departure, this goodbye could cost someone a close relationship with a family member. That's what it smells like. It doesn't have to be parents and child. It could be partnerships. It could be friends. Something is going to cost them a relationship with a person that was, in, I, in my eyes, in ways, depict something pure. It's like no one's a saint, but this person was pure. The child speaks of innocence as well. This is an ending. Wow. Toil and labor is like the people who have put their, like basically broke their back to see something through. This message is concerning to them. With the house in the reverse, I don't know if some people are getting like kicked out. Despair here. Despair in the house in the, in the reverse is like either loss of a property, loss of a home, loss of the togetherness within a home. Okay. It's smelling like loss of something that was the four of wands for them right the safe place anything that made this person feel safe for some of you was attached to another person it's like securities are lost i'm just seeing bad karma unfold for people who literally broke their back it's like they they put blood sweat and tears in ruining another person so they're utterly shocked and you know what the shock is about it's about this damn ship flying so it's like wait what the ship took off Wait, what this person's doing well? Wait, what this person is excelling because I did everything to ruin them. And it's so sad that it, this was a group of people. For some of you, it was family. Very sad, I'm hearing. This is very, very sad. Someone here is very sad to see this day. This has been an ongoing power struggle in the reverse. The power struggle is over because the only power here that they should be worried about is upstairs. This ongoing power struggle is in the reverse. It has everything to do with people who were in denial. I can't be bothered with the truth, but when God blows this horn, it'll be so loud. It's deafening. I'm seeing people talk about all of this. There's something these people will talk about. There's something these people will have to continuously listen to. They don't want to hear it because their denial is stifling. It's literally stifling. Me as a reader, it's stifling. Their denial is stifling. And I don't like this energy, I really don't. I'm human too, but when I read it, my gosh. So when this truth is spread, because this I've never seen this grape stick out to me more than it did, and I'm hearing through the grapevine. There's something these people dished out and it's like, now it's like, now it's being, it's like literally circulating, but it's God's truth circulating. This ship is soaring. This ongoing power struggle is in the reverse. For some of you, it was about money with all this money on the table. I'm seeing people bet on something like, oh, that's disgusting. It's like, why? I bet that ship ain't going to fly. I'll put 50 on it. Oh, I'm, I bet this isn't going to work out. I put 20 on it. It's disgusting. I'm seeing people bet on someone's demise. You know how scary that is? That people literally exist like that. Like, let's sit and digest how vile that sounds. It's like a racehorse or something. I bet that racehorse is going to trip and fall. I bet 20 on that. Y'all are sick. 
And if y'all are watching, I sure as hell hope you digest how sickening that sounds. It's like a mockery. I'm seeing somebody, you're making a mockery of another person. Their time is up. These karmic days are numbered. Mark my words, they're numbered. Because when did, when, oh wow. For some of you, yeah, blackmail involved. When I talk about mockery, somebody here tried to blackmail another person. It's vile. It really feels like this underground, nasty-ish. And because, for some of you, because there was money bet on this, like it's so crazy that I'm getting this. Because people were betting on this, they were trying to sabotage something. Like, no, I bet way too much. I got to make sure they fail. I bet way too much on this. I got to make sure they screw up. I'm banking on something failing because I got way too much something on the line. There's something on the line. They're blackmailing. I don't even want to go into that any more than I've already have. Very sad so sad that people are really like this oh they're gonna learn today yeah for some of this has everything to do with soulmate connections which how is that all engulfed in this like, there's something here that the divine intended and where two people are meant to come together there's this energy of it happening anyway i don't care if it's a business deal of a lifetime for some of you with the hierophant and eight of pentacles has everything to do with contracts and work this decision is final. Ugh. Something here is contracted, but it's a divine contract. So they can't mess with it. I'm hearing mere mortals. That's crazy. Yo, I literally heard mere mortals. Forgive them for they know not what they do. Damn. I'm like, listen, if these people thought for one second they could play God, when they hear God's name, oh, yo. It's like they're gonna know they're, they're gonna know there's a god today this is very intense it's like i'm hearing mere mortals it sounds it sounds it just it sounds like whoever these people are in god ish on whatever this power is about to do has already done and i'm hearing it's unfolding spider in the reverse fox this is a web someone was weaving a web much like a trap for a person For some of you, someone got out of this web. For others of you, they didn't fell for it. it. Has everything to do with manipulation. Google spiders in dreams. It's no bueno. It's in the reverse. This is very sad. Rabbit. That's a high alert energy. Someone here is on high alert right now. You know when a rabbit senses danger from afar, they can hear it from afar and they like scurry, sniff, flinch? Yeah, they're alert. They know. They know who this person is. They know what they're doing. They're on high freaking alert. I said it too. It's like they're protecting themselves now. High freaking alert. Fire ants. Anxiety. You see how they're like a colony? It's a damn colony of people, man. And when I mean enraged, they're so enraged. They're so pissed. It's it's just causing havoc. It's like they're all closing in too. What am I reading, guys? What am I reading? This poor bonbon. Bon. It's like, oh, shoot. I'm out. And they're fast too. Rabbits are hella fast. And it's like this colony, it just feels like a community of people, whether these are just in for the gossip, in for the kill, in for whatever the hell. They're closing in. They're all frantic. And I'm hearing, what's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. Gossip. They're all in for the source. It's like, ooh. Ooh, we. <laughs> it's the grapevine of truth spreading. It's like like honeys, like honey, honeybees, like zzz, that's going. What's the sweetness for today? There is file. It's so sad, really. Oh, yeah, man. They've had a keen eye on this whole situation because they've been doing things from the background. So, of course, they're going to want to see if it worked. Of course, they're going to want to see if someone failed. We have a flipper here, Raven. Yeah, there's a crow here. It's giving me like the divine has been watching this, too. 
the divine has been protecting this too they're watching it's like you're watching this person we're watching you that's what it smells like you're watching this person we're watching you so it's like these people really thought that they were doing things behind the scenes thinking they were so well tucked away hidden unscathed but it's like whatever this destiny is spirit's been sapped on it it's like we're watching you too for some of you this person is getting messages intuitive messages warnings you guys could be seeing crows a lot spiders this is crazy i don't know who's reading this but it's very intense this is happening in a collective manner i'm hearing so this is like this is not just one person's story it's multiple people at a time because it's a wave it's a wave of clarity it's a wave of the truth it's a wave of destiny unfolding it's a wave of exposure it is a wave of you know how many things are coming to light just recently right um there's a, a person here in our community i'm not going to go in it too much but this person has been preying on children teenagers that work at this establishment okay and we know these people because it's in my family's business to like be a part of their establishment i'm not going to go into many details but we've been knowing that that man is a little bit off right we've been knowing that he's a little bit weird there were a lot of young children yeah i'm seeing deceit around money a lot of children teenagers like 13 14 15 16 just leaving like they're no longer working there we never understood why right people have been talking about this person like you know what so and so is not happy because this person was like calling them to his office and there were weird things going on and and it was all hearsay until a person made a public like statement basically outing this person like this person needs to watch their back this person has been preying on children this person needs to basically you know because this person is a pedophile and for years this person is walking around high and mighty because this individual is part of the owners that own that establishment so they could fire people if they don't like submit to them this man was preying on children and it's like whatever deceit, whatever bribe, whatever the hell was going on, it's being exposed. Everyone in our community knows there's no shadow of a doubt because it was publicly stated. Okay? Something here smells like whatever this deceit in the background that has been going on is going to be made public. Let me tell you. Archangel Michael don't play, man. This is going to affect a lot of people's base chakras. What is that about? It's like base that base energy is everything that I said makes you feel secure, money, home, family, belongingness, togetherness, security in the self. In the, it is getting affected due to the deceit that has been going on. I'm hearing for way too long, for way too long. And as I said, this person thinks they're watching whoever they're targeting, but something bigger is watching them too. And that's what this smells like. Archangel Michael is probably one of the fiercest, if not the fiercest, Archangel there is. And a lot of people think that this is all just poppycock, that all of this is just... <laughs> so they keep doing what they're doing, not knowing their day is coming. And for a lot of them, their day is already here. This energy is doing something. That's why a lot of people are like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is frantic energy. Fire ants. It's frantic. It's making a person think a little bit further. This energy feels like that King of Wands, the Seven of Wands to the Temperance Angel. It's like it's making a person see things clear. This man is holding clear cords. It's making somebody think a little further, see things clearer. And there's an exit here. Whether a woman or a man is exiting this volatile situation. It's walking away from this because they're being protected. When I mean this is literally at a person's side, it's at a person's side. And there's a departure, there's an exit, there's a goodbye because this year is getting handled. You know what? This one here isn't even so much focused on this one right now. They're not. If I'm going to put it like this, this one isn't aware of this energy. 
this energy is seeing things clearly as this one should but this year it's like big brother here big brother watching the enemy big brother taking care of the enemy ready to even like if you look at this this one is finally getting some clarity on a situation understanding things this one is just focused right here on the deceit for a lot of you this was greed related so whatever this is it ain't looking pretty and i'm hearing a horn blowing that's what i have for you guys my goodness if this reading resonated please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you wait i'm hearing wait <laughs> i wanted to say see you next time i'm going to use my angel cards Share compliment. Yes, I'm here. Yes, yes, up the wise. Listen to your intuition. I'm telling you. It's like someone's intuition has been telling them this has been going on. I'm, I'm seeing somebody itch. Like it's it's something is bugging them, but they couldn't explain what it was. Fire ants. <laughs> I'm hearing fire ants. There are a lot of people. I'm just seeing a gang of people closing in on either a person, a situation, whether it's gossip, whether it's a literal gang. Okay, that's for some of you. There's something here that's just not okay. And their intuition has been telling them for the longest, for the longest, you're ready. Someone here is ready. Someone here is ready. Yo, and they're being urged. You're ready. You are ready. Communicate clearly. I feel somebody could be speaking on a person's behalf if they're not speaking up for themselves, okay? Take action. There is an urgency here. Yeah, for a lot of this is so that this person can recover for this disgusting set of people. And I don't say that to judge, okay? But this is what I mean unethical and inhumane. That's where this is at, okay? This is not just someone who's in their feelings. No. I heard robbed so loudly, and I heard robbed amongst things that people need for their security. So it's like, Whatever makes a person feel safe, this person, whoever, this group of people was robbing this person of that exactly. And now, this is karma playing out. It is. It's very sad that these people have to learn it this way. But when I mean this energy is hovering over them, it's hovering, it's circulating, and it's closing in. This is very sad. It's just giving me an energy of learning things the hard way. People here could, you know, have certain consequences that they can't go back from easily. Something here is going to get exposed. This could affect someone's job life. This could affect their home life. This could affect many different things their livelihood the main things they wanted to take steal rob another person of is exactly what they're to be experiencing under this energy and it ain't looking pretty yes with recovery and forgiveness forgive these people as as hard as it may seem forgive them because they don't know what they're doing basically they don't know who they're messing with they don't know and i'm not saying who as in us people i'm saying it as an upstairs and it's not cute and a lot of people when i tell you they don't believe in it i'm feeling the energy of a very hard skeptic here where it's like when this tower falls when this day comes you will there will not be a shadow of doubt that there is a god because i'm seeing people looking at it like this like they're seeing that ship fly and that ship is symbolic for anything they're like damn so there is a god damn damn i'm just saying damn like they're shook you shouldn't be worried about other people's ships flying. You should be worried about your own. You should be worried about what's coming for all of this mess that was caused, that was dished out, I'm hearing. Don't be worried about other people's ships taking off. Look at yourself. What ships are you having take off in your life? What are you doing to better your life? Why are people so pressed about someone else's ship soaring? It's sad, like what drove these people to this point? Is it money? Is it power? Is it greed? Is it hatred? Is it envy? It is not worth it at all. This is a mess and it's cleanup time. And someone here is ready, 
ready to move forward. Lovingly speak your truth. Recover, forgive these people, and let them go. I can't, I can't make this up. Recover, forgive these people, and let them go. For some of you, they're too close for comfort, and that's even more sad. All right? That's what I have for you guys. If this read resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.